victory will be ours. Little angels, Veronica, Serena, please come back. We'll do anything. Fidelis, Alma, you must not lose hope. Veronica and Serena are the heirs to the power of that most holy of sages. As long as they are together, there is nothing that can. Oh. <laughs> Serena? Is it really you? Mother? Father? You're alive! Oh, 
Serena, my little angel. I never thought I'd see you again. Serena, my child, have you come back to us alone? What of Veronica? She, she's not here. But I thought she must have made her way home already. She's certainly somewhere nearby. I can sense it. Somewhere north of here. You can really tell where she is? Hmm. Yes, it's her. I know it is. We have to go and find her. You think Veronica's really here? If she is, she's keeping a low profile. When we were children, Veronica and I would often come to this grove to play. I was sure she would be waiting for me here. Veronica! Veronica, where are you? Ah, there she is! I knew it! <laughs> Wake up, lazy bones. You'll catch cold sleeping outside like this. Veronica? Look, her staff is shining, and so is the mark on your hand. Do you think if you touch it, you might have one of your visions? Ugh! <sighs> 
something. You're the only ones who can save this world. Don't let me down. Serena, look after the luminary. Veronica, you gave your life to save us. No! Even in your final moments, you were thinking of your friends. No! Oh, Veronica. <laughs> Why must the good die young? here after all. She's gone. But I will not let her death be in vain. Where she led, I must follow. I have to tell everyone. I have to tell mother and father. Great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the symbol of all life. Today, we mourn the loss of a beloved child of Arborea. Though she came into life with another of your hallowed leaves, she departed this realm alone. May she one day return to you and bloom again upon your branches. I thank you all for gathering here today to celebrate the life of my dear sister. Even in her darkest hour, Veronica thought not of herself, but only of protecting the Luminary. 
She was a keeper to the last. Now, I ask that each of you offer up a lock of hair to the sacred flame, that its light may guide her on her way back to the world tree. My little angel. <laughs> Curse you, Mordigan. Why could you not have taken me instead? My darling, darling daughter. How could you leave us without saying goodbye? Serena appears steadfast despite her grief. But the sight of her poor parents is heartbreaking indeed. My child, I must speak with you and your friends. When you have a moment, please come to the cathedral. Forgive me for summoning you here at this time of sadness, but there is something I believe you will be eager to hear. You came in search of the sacred conveyance upon which Erdwin and his allies rode out to face the Dark One, did you not? How did you know that? Well, some days before your arrival, Holy Yggdrasil granted me another vision. I saw you, honored luminary. You were standing alongside Serena upon a great white object that transported you to an island in the sky. A strange and beautiful place. And you think this was a vision of the future? I do. For in my dream, Veronica was not with you. I have been greatly troubled as to what her absence might mean. I had hoped and prayed that my fears were unfounded, yet, alas, they were not. Which made me wonder if the conveyance upon which you stood might also be real. And then, I remembered. Cetacea. The legends tell of a divine being who soared through the skies on silver wings, a beast summoned to Erdwin's side by a mystical melody. Perhaps it was upon Cetacea's back that you rode in my vision, and perhaps the island upon which you alighted is the next step on your journey. I intend to scour the annals for indications of how she might be summoned. I will inform you forthwith if my researches should prove fruitful. Now, the day's unhappy events have surely taken their toll. Rooms have been prepared for you all at the inn. Pray, rest a while.
It's a love song from the age of heroes. The story of a lady pining for her long-lost sweetheart. No one remembers who wrote it, but I've loved it since I was a little girl. You know, something's been bothering me. Veronica? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. But I hope they do. <laughs> Serena, I want you to promise me something. If anything happens to me, promise you'll finish this without me. <gasps> I shan't promise anything of the sort. I don't even want to think of such things. If only I had promised to do as she asked. Perhaps she might have been able to make her sacrifice more easily. She was right, you know. I always have been slow. When it came to talking, or walking or learning magic, I was always a step behind her. But now I must tread my own path, alone. I hate to ask, but would you mind awfully not going anywhere for a little while? I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry to be such a bother, but I shan't be one any longer. Veronica died to save me. I must make the most of my life. For her sake. Hmm. <sighs> no more tears. That was the old me. Goodbye. Thank you, dear sister. 